Hey, it's Chrissy's Cocktails, and during the zombie apocalypse, we're going to make a mint chocolate teeny. Stay tuned. So, we are going to make a mint chocolate martini. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. And with this, we're going to need to make a simple syrup. I'm making mine with less sugar. For the simple syrup, we're going to take, and you can play around with this if you want to, if you want to have a lot of simple syrup just around the house, get two cups of water for one cup of sugar, two parts water, one part sugar. So you take two parts water, one part sugar, melt it down so that the sugar dissolves into the water, two cups water, one cup sugar is what I use to make mine, and then I put four drops of doTERRA peppermint oil in it. Now you may see peppermint essential oil in the stores. I would not necessarily buy them. A lot of them that will say that they're 100% pure, they not necessarily are. You're not gonna be able to pick up the real good stuff in your Walgreens. So I would say doTERRA is my go-to. Young Living, I've heard good things about. So there's some good ones, but I would be careful ingesting anything that isn't proven to be pure. I put three to four drops, 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 not the pour, 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 because this stuff can be strong. Shake it up. I've got another full jar, so I don't think this was all of it. Uh, three to four drops in there, let it sit, and then I've got some chocolate vodka. Now, if you don't have chocolate vodka at home, you can get regular vodka and get chocolate liqueur, but I'm using the real deal. Cup of ice cup of ice and my mixing glass, strainer, martini glass, little if you want to measure. So I'm going to take and put two shots of this. Do, 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 do. Two shots of my simple syrup with the peppermint. Mm, you can smell the chocolate and the peppermints together. Put your ice in. Get a good suction on the mixing cup. Glass behind you. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your food in. And you can see the condensation coming on the cup. That's how you know you've done it a long time. Get it to come undone. Strainer. Beautifully strained. If you could smell it right now like I'm smelling it. And here we have our mint chocolate chip teeny. you like this recipe, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Any comments, questions, put that down below. I'm going to put the ingredient list below as well as links to things if you don't have some of these tools at home. Or you could be your own amateur bartender at home. And my dog is upset. So, But thank you for watching and cheers.